Your reaction to back-to-back -back storms this week and when you were finally able to assess the damage you caused? Yeah, I've lived in Delaware most of my life. I grew up not far from here in Claymont. I, I don't think I've seen two back-to-back -back storms like that with the kind of damage, tree damage in particular. I mean, the power and the force of the winds that went through here. We know that the event uh, earlier last week was a tornado. We thought They first thought it was three, then two, maybe now one or two. They're making that determination. Haven't made that determination necessarily on the event uh, on Friday that took out the trees here, but from where I live in the northern part of the city of Wilmington, around Haynes Park, some of the trees on Van Buren Street near where I live, going out 52, I've never seen anything like it. And obviously with respect to our, our, our uh, constituents, Del Marva's customers, uh, they've lost power in main feed, feeder lines, as you heard Gary talk about and his team. And so that's what's been a big part of the delay. The reason for being is uh, represent, uh, being out here today, Representative Griffiths, and all the folks that are in this area who are Representative uh, Brady, Senator Sturgeon, our constituents are calling us and saying what's going on. And so we wanted to bring folks out here to show them what's actually happening. Most people have just a very localized view of the situation from where they live and that's, that's fine. But we have a much broader event that starts out on 52 and west to the Pennsylvania line, affects feeder lines into so many of the communities that, that we represent. Uh, and, our, and our constituents still are without power. So it's a bigger event, I think, than most people realize. And it was back to back with an event earlier in the week which had sucked down resources uh, in, the, in the middle part of our state. And when do you think things will get back to normal? When do you think all the folks here will have their power back? Yeah, the sooner the better, you better. That question's better answered by somebody from Delmarva Power. This is mostly, if not all, Delmarva Power, a territory up here. We're making really good progress in Dover. That's in a Dover electric uh, distribution system there. We still have a lot of cleaning up to do. You know, Delta opens the roads, they're doing a great job, but they push a lot of the debris off to the side in the runaway, right away, and then come back later and pick it up. And so that's gonna be an irritation for uh, the people we work for as well.